In this video, we're going to look at graphing two different rational functions using transformations. The first one we're going to look at is the reciprocal function. So this is the reciprocal function. It has the equation 1 over x, right? And this was part of the family of functions that you looked at when you uh, were copying down all those, uh, those functions back in chapter 2. And we can actually apply all the same transformations that we learned before on this uh, on this function. So this is our parent function here, z of x equals one over x. You can see that it's graphed over here. Um, and these are all the transformations that could be applied to it. So our function f of x equals a divided by the quantity x minus h, all of that plus k. So a, the value of a here, still has the same effect that it did normally, right? We can see that if we adjust a, let's say we make a two, um, it kind of made our graph look like it's stretched, right? So if we look at the parent function here, uh, we can see that all of these values, the y values are twice uh, that of the parent function for the given x value. And here as well, right? We can see that they're two times as large. So we just take the y value and multiply by two or multiply by the a value in this case. So let's take a back to one. Um, so this is our parent function. And then this h, what's with uh, the x, that's going to be our horizontal shift. So if I make h1, that means that I'm going to shift my graph to the right one unit. Right? We can see that from the parent function, it's just shifted right one unit. And then the value of k shifts our graph up and down. So if I went to negative 3, we can see that my graph has been shifted down 3 units. Um, so from our parent function, it went right one unit and down three units. And um, those are the transformations that we can do with the reciprocal function. Same transformations that we've seen with any of our other functions. Next, we're going to take a look at this function here. So this is actually the function f of x equals 1 over x squared. So we can see z of x equals 1 over x squared. We can see that it's this function here. Um, and we're going to apply these same transformations that we did to our other parent function, right, to the reciprocal function. So this graph is going to be one of the graphs that you're going to have to graph using transformations on the homework. So again, the a value of a is still just our vertical stretch. So if I uh, change the value of a, let's make it like one half here, we can see that for the parent function now, uh, when x is negative one half, our y value went from four to two, we just cut it in half. And from one to one half. So it's just still the value of a is what we multiply our y values by. Uh, for h, h still again is our horizontal shift. So I'm going to put this back to 1. Uh, it's still our horizontal shift. So if I go left, if I want to go left two units, I would make h negative 2, which would make my function in here uh, 1 over x plus 2 quantity squared. And then um, maybe I want to move my graph up or down. Maybe I can move it up three units. So that would make k positive three. So one, two, three, positive three here. Well, make it positive three. And so if I did that plus three, we can see that there's my graph. So it's just taken my parent function in green and shifted it left two units. So that's what the plus two does. And then up three units. And that's what this plus three does. And so we can graph these same parent functions, 1 over x squared and 1 over x, using the exact same transformations that we have in the past for all of our functions.